Yes, someone asked about the process of changing from the old number plates to the new number plates. So if you have where to write, you can prepare. So this is the process of changing from the old number plates to the new number plates. The first principle is that you must be the registered owner. And therefore, you must have a tax identification number. Are we together? Now, get that tax identification number of yours, or the so-called T number. Go to ura.go.ug. ura.go.ug. You will see a section for login. Key in your tax identification number as a username or user ID. Are we together? After keying in the TIN, you put in your password. If you have a TIN, you must have a password for that TIN. Now we have logged in. Not so. Now, once you have logged in, you will see an interface. Go to a section called motor vehicle. Just assume that you are on the screen now. You will see something written on motor vehicle. Click on that. After clicking, it will take you to application for digital registration rates. Click on that. Once you have clicked, then it will prompt you to put in the registration number of the car that you intend to change. So if it is UBF842G, you put in that number. Click on Next. The remarks, of course, will be application for digital registration rates. After that, you can now submit. You'll be prompted to submit. Click on the submit icon. Once you have submitted, press OK. We have now pressed OK. So we can now save. The system will prompt you to save. It will give you an option for saving. Once you have saved, it means you have saved your application. Remember, at that point of putting in your registration number, the registration number of your car, all the other details will automatically be fetched from the system and they will appear. So save your application and print it. Print the hard copy now. You have saved your application, your online publication. You have saved it on the desktop. Now go ahead and, and print it. Now, you have applied for a change of registration number from the old to the new. You have made an application to the Ministry of Transport. Are we together? Now, an officer from the Ministry of Transport seated at Nakawa will now look through your application and see whether it meets their, uh, their standards, and then he or she approves your application. Once the application has been approved, you will get a notification giving you the details of how to pay the payment. Uh, on, on. You will get a notification on your email that your application for change of, of, of number plates has been approved. Once that has been done, now you can come to our site and the process is also not different from what you have gone through. You apply for paying for a digital registration rate. You go to itms.ug, you get an account, you create an account. Very simple. We shall give you a password, you activate it, and then apply for a digital registration rate. And immediately, our team will give you an invoice 
Remember your application has already been approved by the Ministry of Transport, specifically the MVR. Now we give you the invoice for the plate. You go and pay. After paying, we shall confirm the payment and then fit or change your number plate at the time of your choice. Someone can ask where will that one take place from? Depending on your location, depending on the location of the vehicle, if you are around Kampara, we shall do it from Kampara. If you are up country, we shall do it from up country. However, you need to know that for now, we have not yet rolled out the post registration process. But you are at liberty to apply and then pay and wait for our bosses to give us a go ahead and we start giving you the number plate. Also, you note that if you lost a registration plate, you lost a number plate, your vehicle has one or has none, they were stolen. For you, you can apply and you will actually get a new digital registration plate. Are we together? If you have one or you don't have any, they are stolen. For you, you can get a digital registration plate replacing your old number plate that was stolen or damaged. At 150,000 shillings. I hope that is sorted now. The other question was about... Yes, the other question was about tampering with it. If you have packed your vehicle overnight, a thief has come and packed it off. The command center will get a notification that this number plate has been tampered with. It's also your duty as the car owner to immediately report to the nearest police station. And when the police... Someone is asking about when the police practice it off. We shall later see that the process of police officers parking off registration number plates is almost banned now. We shall explain that. So don't worry about that. If it's an, a, a thug that has parked it off, then the police now is going to look for that number plate. But remember, these thugs have been parking off these number plates. We pay them money. They give us the number plate. We fix it. By law, you are not supposed to fix that registration plate now. It's us supposed to do it. So it will no longer be a viable business for thugs to steal. Even if you take it and you recover it later, you are not supposed to put it back. Still, you have to come to us and we see whether that number plate is still in a good condition, whether we can fix it or not. So it will no longer be business for those thugs. They will also lose out on business and they will stop stealing them. Don't send them your money. Report to police and you will be served. How do I know that the cameras have found me? Maybe we leave that to the next presentation. It will be answered. For now, thank you.